What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Lex Express checking in with some more WWE 2K22 news. Now here we're going to be talking about the latest news on the DLC. They confirmed the release date and all the wrestlers within the DLC. Now you guys see the screenshot. That's the official promo artwork that they got going on for it. And spoiler alert, I'm not too happy about it. I, I just, I, I don't want to go on a rant here. And I don't want to be Mr. Debbie Downer because I take pride in, you know, being vocal about my opinion on the game being good and fun. But this is something that I just can't lie to you guys. I'd be lying to myself, most importantly, and I'd be putting on an act. And I think that um, I'm not a good actor. <laughs> I just can't come on here and tell you guys that I'm emotional or excited or super duper hyped to have gotten this season pass. I just can't lie. You know, it's $40. Yes, I own it. I own it. But look at the price tag. It's 40 freaking dollars. Buy as a gift. There you go. $40. I can't stand behind that, man. It's, it's so sad for me to even do this video. Like, I'm kind of excited for everyone that they added. But... <sighs> All right, so I'm going to try to get hype for it, man. I'm going to try my best to give you guys that emotion. You guys come in here and say that the champ is here. Don't miss out on another stream or video, guys. You better subscribe to the channel. Join the best community on YouTube and hit up our Discord. Link is in the description box. But let's get into it. We got the DLC list. Superstar Celebrity Pack post-launch DLC. So, oh, it says Superstar and Celebrity Pack. All right, all right, all right. All right. So... Here are the release dates. So Bonsai Pack comes out April 26, which includes Yokozuna, Umaga, Rikishi, Omas, and Casey Catanzaro. All right? That's coming out April 26. So I am happy to see Umaga in the game. Don't get me wrong, guys. I am happy and excited to see Umaga in the game. But me personally, I've never been a big Umaga fan. But I will probably add him to the bloodline. And then you got Rikishi, who should have been in the game, Who's also going to be part of that? Yokozuna as well. Like, I'm glad that they're adding them. It's not that I'm mad about that. It's just that, you know, I'm not as big of a fan as some, as some of you guys are. Like, a lot of you guys were asking me, man, I really want Umaga. Are they going to put Umaga? Are they going to put Umaga? And I'm like, wow, Umaga has a lot of fans. That's, that's awesome, though. I'm not mad about that. How could you be mad about that? You'd be a fool. I'm not mad about that. Don't get me wrong. I'm not mad about just that. We'll get to why I'm mad. At the end. So most wanted pack. Release date May 17th. You get Cactus Jack. Who they have his shirt on everything in the game already. This is ridiculous at this point. But you get Cactus Jack. The Boogeyman which is another fan favorite that people wanted. Vader who's getting inducted into the Hall of Fame. And then you get uh, Dragunov. I don't know how to pronounce the first name so I don't want to botch it. Then you get Indy Hartwell as well. That's May 17th. Then you get the Stand Backpack, which releases June 7th. You get Hurricane Helms, Stacy Keebler, A-Kid, Wesley, and Nash Carter. I know people are hyped for MSK. I don't know much about them, so I don't want to say that this pack sucks, but st having Stacy Keebler, you know, fan favorite Hurricane Helms and MSK, I get it. I get it. Clowning Around Pack, June 28th. So we get two packs within one month, all right? In June, we get two packs. Doink the Clown. What? Ronda Rousey. I'm happy for her. I understand why she wasn't in the game at launch. She was a free agent. They couldn't get her. They finally scanned her, and they're putting her in the game. British Bulldog. They needed more time to work on him. Like, why wasn't he in the game already? Good that they're adding him, though. I'm not mad. I, again, there's certain characters here that I'm not mad about. Mr. T. I don't know. Are you going to use Mr. T? I know I ain't. Do drop another fan favorite. Awesome. Rick Boogs. Awesome. Great add-on. Then you get the whole damn pack. July 19th. The last pack to release. You get Rob Van Dam. Logan Paul. Logan Paul. Logan Paul. Machine Gun Kelly. LA Knight, which I'm happy for. I like LA Knight. Then you get Zia Lee, which a lot of people wanted. Commander Aziz, and Saray. 
I understand there's there's some wrestlers that are not in WWE right now, like RVD or Ronda before signing recently, and and you know they're, it's just out of their control to have them in the game at launch because they started working on them late. So I understand that part. I truly do. I'm sympathetic. I get it. There's that's not my gripe with it. Okay, I understand their their side of the story. Yeah, they didn't have them. Blah 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 blah. But come on, guys, let's be honest. Half of these people, or at least most of them, should have already been in the game. So that's my number one issue. All right, well, no, no, hold on. My number one issue is that this shit is $40. Number two is that half of them should have been in the game. And then number three, they didn't bother adding no extra showcase. Like, they had done that in the past. Where part of the season passed, they added a little bit of showcase. Why couldn't they give us like a five or six match showcase? I've always been the type to complain about other sports titles like MLB or NBA, Madden, NHL, FIFA or whatever. I, I've i always been the one to complain about the adding content, considering content as players that should be or already are in the game and them giving you different card artwork. Now, this is not the same. This is more like a roster update or enhancement or whatever. But when you add DLC to that, you know, title and you don't give us actual like expansions or DLC like other game or most games do or like how they've done in the past because they've done this before. It's not like they haven't done this where they've given us DLC with move packs and arenas and like, I don't know, like, am I missing something here? Now, I know that like 30, 40 dollars is always that's always been the price for the for the DLC. So again, I don't want to. I just, I, I didn't want to come on here and be Debbie Downer and be that Debbie Downer guy, and I, and I've been that. So I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but no, not really, because I'm not gonna lie to you guys. So whatever. Ultimately, I like the list, at least a teeny weeny bit to be like, all right, whatever. I got the special edition. They're part of it. I'm okay. We're getting everyone by July. They are rushing these packs out. Is there more to come? Like, what's going on? Straight Edge hit me up and said, man, this makes me think that there might be a wrestling game in October or something because why would they release everything so soon? So we get 28 additional superstars when you add everyone. You know? But it's just crazy. It says all new content will be made available. Like, all new content? What's the content? That we're getting stars in the game? So... Take what I'm saying with a grain of salt. I'm still going to play it. I'm still going to have it. I'm still excited to, you know, see Umaga in the game again or even Yokozuna. And, you know, RVD was one that I thought, wow, that was awesome that they were able to get him. But how do you have Cactus Jack and don't have Mankind? Come on, guys. Let's be honest here. How do you have the DX team in the game, but you don't have their entrance or the song? Same for Evolution. Like, I get why people are complaining about the game. But whatever. This is just like add-ons and DLC stuff and just BS. That's beyond our control, honestly. Because maybe it has to do with, like, contracts and rights and things that we don't even understand. But overall, I've had a blast with the game. My review will be coming soon, so stay tuned for that. And I know I, I reported this a little late. And they, they talked about this in the morning. But I wanted to really sit here and put my thoughts into this video in a way where I'm being truthful. Because I saw that list and I'm not going to lie. I was like, I was about to go rant and go on a rampage. But there's no point. There's no point because I already paid for it. And we do got some stars that we've wanted. Like RVD, LA Knight, so on and so forth. I'm just saying that because they're on the cover here, but. Logan Paul and no bad bunny. You lost me, 2K. You lost me. I just gotta be honest. I'll see you on the next one. Thank you for tuning in. Make sure y'all drop that drop. Make sure y'all drop that like button. All right. It helps the video. Helps the channel. I'll see y'all real soon. Peace.